Hello, everyone! And what? I haven't hit record yet. So hello everyone and welcome back to another unboxing video. We've got something very special today. It has been eight years, I think, since Jurassic World released. And with it came one of the biggest villains of the franchise. That being a manufactured creature called Indominus Rex. But if we remember back to those dark days in 2015, Hasbro had the Jurassic World license. And with it, they created some of the worst abominations ever put to plastic. Roll the footage. It was bad is an understatement. And it almost made me completely give up on the Jurassic toy collecting scene in general because it was blatantly obvious they were not putting any effort or thought, care in other words, into the franchise. And it kind of sucked. And it was one of the reasons. Anyway, there's a lot to go into and unpack. But today, eight years later, we have a reimagining of sorts of that Indominus Rex. Throw it to me, Whitney! It's that! Uh, we're not gonna catch it! We're not gonna catch it! Uh, 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 call me quarterback Beavis for nothing! Yeah. There it is! The massive Indominus Rex! Why do I call it a reimagining? Well, all I have to do is click one button and you'll be teleported back to 2015. Which one is it? Is it just this one? Okay, oh, well, but, I mean, kind of. That, that's kind of what I was expecting to happen, but not really. I wanted the other one. Wait, do you not- Wait, was it just me? Or did this thing ever glow red? Is it not like a pain button? Okay, never mind. Well, I, <laughs> I thought it glowed red, but apparently it glows green. Green. So if you remember, the original Jurassic World Hasbro Indominus Rex glowed red when you pressed it. It also had a rubber head, which is a bit stupid anyway. Now things age poorly. But this one isn't the first time we've done an Indominus Rex, but I think it is the first time they've made an Indominus Rex with the same lighting feature that the original one had. And yours. So without any further ado, let's get it out of the box. If you took my knife, I've told you about this. My Knife! You get to keep the toast, I get the knives! Ah! Oh! <laughs> I need the really safety equipment! Uh, I am a doctor! Ah! The Indominus Rex! And it looks glorious! I love Indominus Rex! Right, so, first things first, how does it look? Looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. Um, it's still got that kind of Mattel pastel look. A lot of these dinosaurs have it. I would prefer if it was maybe a little bit more brighter white or something, I don't know. Or maybe a bit similar to the ILM Indominus Rex. Give it a bit more detail rather than just, it's pastel gray. But here we are. Yes, Whitney. Look at its toenails. Is that the painted toenail? Aww. It has painted toenails! Rejoice! Well, don't shake your head. Nod your head. There we go. But it doesn't have painted fingernails, so I can only give it half points. But the action feature on this one is, of course, the tail, which once you press, <laughs> makes a glow. I have, ooh, that, mm, mm, look at that, mm, very good. I have no idea where this came from with Indominus Rex. I mean, it glowed red in the original one, and I thought that was to do with, you know, Claire who throws the flare, and that lights up the Indominus Rex, so the T-Rex sees it, and that's why it's red. But now at this point, either, not even Mattel knows why it glows, so they just made it green. And I think that's probably the case. Not even that sure why it glows, but we're gonna make it glow with anything. It should have been red. Maybe it's just eating a, a disco ball or some Christmas lights. 
something like that. But can it swallow anything? There is no way it can swallow something. I'm pretty sure there was an Indominus Rex that we unboxed on the channel not too long ago. They could eat things whole. I mean, if we look at the sculpt, it's great. It's got the, the sort of, I don't know what you call these things, exoderms? It's got scales, it's got warty little features, it's got some nice rubber bits for the back of its quills there. They're not solid plastic. So something like that, just adding a little bit of attention to detail is quite nice and I appreciate it. I do like that you can twist its head. So if it bites something like, ho <laughs> wait for it. You know, the whole reason why dinosaurs are in our world and the Indominus Rex even got created in the first place, really, beside Henry Wu. Hey. Ah! And then we can twist it. Ah, die, Claire! <laughs> can you hold her though, is the question. He's not King Kong, James. No, he picks up people. The Japanese guy from the ACU. And he was like, it can camouflage. And then he's like, picks him up. But look at that. He can hold her. If only he could bite her at the same time. <laughs> but you know what? If you're looking for an Indominus Rex model or toy, this is a great one for a project for painting. It's a great one because it has that really cool light up feature. Its sound effects are really nice. The sculpt's very accurate. In all intents and purposes, it's a solid, solid Indominus Rex. I can't lie. Now, with that being said, how about we look at something that didn't really need to exist? And when I was buying this, I saw it and went, why? Why are we doing this? I have no idea. Bring out! Desert T-Rex! Ready! 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 It's not gonna hit the Adonis Rex, I'm gonna catch it, throw it up high! I'll grab it from the air! Well, oh, there it is! The T-Rex! Another one. Another one. I don't know why, I don't know how, I don't know who, I don't care. It's another T-Rex. Yet another T-Rex, and you might be mistaken in thinking that this one is very similar to the Legacy one, which was basically the cheapest plastic you could find, the cheapest paint job you could find, and a clip-in tail. However, this has a little secret. It's electronic, and it's still in the box, which we're going to fix. Yeah! Ah, like that, there you go. Magic knife, what can I say? Anyway, here it is, a desert T-Rex. Um, I mean, it comes with some interesting capture gear. So you can put this around the muzzle of the T-Rex. I'm assuming this is where it goes. <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, okay, so you can undo it and then you can wrap it around the T-Rex. <laughs> the baby bonnet T-Rex. Right, there you have it. Splinter Cell, the T-Rex, with a bionic eye that can see through walls. Not only have we got that, we've got painted toenails. <gasps> Whoa, look at that. Anyway, so, I mean, it's another T-Rex. It's pretty much the same sculpt. I, I don't know how they keep getting away with this. They can't keep getting away with this. But they do, and they will forever do it. But this thing actually has a different kind of, um... T-Rex is not impressed. It actually has a different action feature, and that's this thing on the back, and it makes it do this. <laughs> Dino Dad's party. <laughs> So, it has this weird feature where not only does it open its mouth, but it twists its head. So if we push it down a little bit, it does like a little snap. And you can kind of do that without causing any sound effect there, which is kind of okay. But then, if you push it a little bit more, it does like this double snap. Oh, I thought I broke it there. <laughs> okay, it doesn't seem to be doing it as well as it was before to do with this? Okay, so it kind of restricts it if you put this thing on it, and then if we take it off... Yeah! Oh, that is very interesting! Also, you've got some different sound effects of the T-Rex, which is quite nice. You don't have the, the classic roll, which you, well, you kind of do, but it's, it's sort of short snippets of a T-Rex, which is kind of what you want. Like that, that, it's not like the... thing that goes on forever, it's just like one roll. And that one. That's quite nice. I like that. He goes, Boo! <laughs> he's being tormented by souls of the previous murdered people he's eaten. It's like, what? What? Where are you? Where are they? I hear the voices. So it's an interesting little mechanic that they've got there. 
I honestly wouldn't recommend picking this thing up. It's just a weird one. We've got plenty of T-Rexes. If you want something that looks like this, there's a million one uh, T-Rexes out there that do this. Just, they don't do a little twist to the side, I don't think. Maybe they do a twist to the side, but maybe they don't bite. I don't know. There's so many T-Rexes, it's hard to keep track of, if I'm honest. Yeah, there you go. Get a good look at that. Right. Indominus Rexes, which isn't on the top and is actually on his leg. <gasps> but did they put it in? Yeah, yeah, they did. Okay, never mind. For some odd reason, the Indominus Rex wearing the headgear actually kind of works, as opposed to the T-Rex. It just kind of fits the weird edgelord aesthetic. So, there you have it, guys. Which did you prefer? Do you prefer the Indominus Rex? Or for some odd reason, do you prefer the desert tracking T-Rex? Right, I give the Indominus Rex a nine out of 10. There's only, only the coloring could be better. Gave it a nine out of 10? But yeah, look, it's got all the articulation. It can hold something. It can bite. It has a really cool glow feature. That's really cool. It like strobes and it goes through. It can also twist. So it's a bit like the Thrasher T-Rex or Thrasher T-Rex from The Lost World in 1998. So there's so many cool features with this thing. It's just missing a little bit of detail. I'd like it if it was a different kind of color or, you know, just not a pastel. I really don't like the pastel aesthetic that Mattel goes for. And as far as this T-Rex goes, we'll give it a six. <laughs> but if you enjoyed this video, guys, leave a like and until next time, I'll see you guys later. Oh, bye bye. Whose mechanism will give out first is the question. You know what it is? It's like when Chihuahuas go at it when they're attacking each other, like, ah! <laughs> 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 <laughs>